Hi everyone and welcome for today's video. For today's project I was commissioned to paint a dog. <laughs> As you know I also do realism and I occasionally also do some pet portraits. This is one of them and the goal for this commission was not a hyper-realistic or a super photorealistic representation of the dog. It was supposed to be more of an abstract but still realistic look. Well not really abstract but a rougher realistic look I'd say. So I'm not going to paint all of the fine little hairs, this is more of the abstract part, but I want to resemble him as closely as possible to the reference photo, and the background also was supposed to be an abstract one, so not really a green, it was asked to be a red orangey kind of background to make it fit into the flat better than the green. So as I usually do, I started off with a base layer, which is actually only loose blocking in of the color, or at least the, the color that is close to the one that I want to have in the end. Just give me a rougher estimate on the shading and where everything on this portrait is actually sitting in the end. This first initial layer doesn't have to be accurate, it doesn't have to be the correct color, the correct shades, you do not need to care about some details or whatsoever, it is basically just your guideline for the further steps. This also is the part which is the most satisfying, I'd say, because in a relatively short amount of time you're getting quite a good process. So you're getting your paints on your canvas or your paper, whatever you're painting on, and you can see the effort that you put into it. It is not yet perfect, of course, but you can see that a lot of amount of paint is onto your painting service and you see, yeah, you see your progress. When you go for the next layers which care for the details and all these small little things, you spend way, way, way more time on way more little progress. But of course it's worth it because in the end everything is getting to be refined even more. And when it comes to the time used for this piece, I think it was about six hours in total. This is pretty quick for a realism painting, I'd say. So if you go for realism or especially photorealism or if you go over the top and try for hyperrealism, you will spend way, way more hours, ages sometimes, to get all the details in to make it look as you want it to look. Because the more details you're putting into your piece, the more time, of course, you're going to need. And if you use the same technique what I am using, so painting in layers, you also have these drying times in between where you have to let your paint layers dry and then go over it with the next layer and so on and so on and so on. If you're used to paint in one layer and use the a la prima method, so painting everything into one session, so to speak, so wet in wet, you of course will not need that much time, but I still, I, I can't do it, I still cannot do this. And sometimes, as I did here in this project as well, when the base layers are done and I feel that I'm going into the somewhat right direction with the look that I've achieved so far, I'm going to see if my proportions are still correct. Therefore, I'm using tracing paper and tracing the subject again, putting it onto the, the artwork itself, so tracing it over the already painted artwork and see if my proportions are correct. So if the eyes are correct, size and shape and position, if the nose, whatever. And this is not only for pet portraits, it's especially for human portraits. Because, especially it's for me, a human portrait is way more delicate than an animal portrait or a pet portrait. Because if this is a bit off, it's not as obvious, I think, as if it was a human portrait. But this, of course, is up to everyone. And actually, this is everything that I did for this project. I will play some music, as I usually do, and let you watch the entire process until the end, if you want to see it. <laughs>
So I would really appreciate if you can let me know in the comment section if you like this demonstration, if you want to have more realism artworks shown in my channel and perhaps also more deeply explained when it comes to realism techniques in painting, drawing, whatever you actually want to see in the future. Just let me know in the comment section and I will be happy to make this work. I know that not too many of you will watch my uh, realism videos because most of you have joined for the yeah, the abstract and the acrylic pouring, but for those who follow along and who want to see more of it, just leave me down in the comments and I will be happy to make more of those. So if you're new to my channel and liked what you've seen, please make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up for this video. Make sure you head over to my watch list to see what else I have done so far. There are 250 videos bundled up in different categories like playlists just to give you a better impression what I am doing all day long and yeah if you would like to get in touch with me contact me on facebook or instagram or whatever <laughs> and other than that i hope to see you in my next videos <laughs> have a great day bye bye